when you lose like this at the end of the year, it happens so suddenly. And as we talked, uh, it uh, 60 minutes goes by pretty quick uh, when you're, you're chasing the game. And I just thought, uh, you know, maybe a little, we got a little more fortunate uh, with a couple of good early chances that we had. Uh, we're we're in a, all alone there a couple of times that if you can get one or both those at that time, it may change just a little bit of the momentum anyway. So I, I thought uh, we just kind of came up a little short in some of our opportunities. Uh, I think two breakaways and another two on two on old type situation. We need to get more out of that than what we did, and and then we need to make uh, some saves that uh, we didn't get tonight. So, uh, um, you know, just the combination of not getting the saves when you needed them and and uh, not scoring when you you had your opportunities, I thought was the difference. Other than that, I, I didn't think it was too bad. I, you know, I was. Uh, Still very proud of our team and uh, what we were able to accomplish this year. But uh, regardless of who you're playing and what the situation is, when it ends, it ends. It's over and uh, it uh, it just stings. So that's where we are right now. And uh, as we remove ourselves, I guess, from this game a little bit and reflect a little bit more on the on the whole year and that, uh, uh, I'm still very very proud of what uh, we were able to accomplish and and what this group was able to. Uh, bring and uh, we represented uh, I thought RIT uh, themselves the team but RIT in the Rochester community room well so really proud. Thank you coach. Now we'll open the floor for questions for our student athletes again please raise your hand with the microphone state your name and affiliation. Thank you. Coach Jason Hayes Rochester Sun Devils. Coach Jason Hayes Rochester Sun Devils. Thank you coach. Thank you. Adam Oden, College Hockey News for uh, Gian Franco. There, uh, you know, you guys had a great year. You scored a goal in the NCAA tournament. The lost things. Are you able to put that in perspective yet? Uh, and just be proud of that. All of that. I think I'm more proud of uh, the boys in the locker room and what we accomplished this year and the fight we gave tonight. Um, you know, you look at that score. It's it's not a six three game. We had plenty of chances. So um, so proud of this group in that locker room there and uh, at the end of the day we're we're champions so um we're gonna hold that with uh with pride carter ross good question just talk about that first period first 10 minutes were pretty even you get like coach mentioned you had some chances there just talk about the start yeah obviously uh b is a good team we knew they're gonna come up with a hot start and uh we were ready for it and we thought we were bashing really well we had our chances obviously and any other game, guys are burying those, but unfortunately, their goalie made a couple of saves. Our guys couldn't put it home, and uh, that changes the script of that game, obviously, in the first 10. If we're up there, a goal or something like that, maybe they get on their heels a bit more and a little more uncomfortable, but um, unfortunately, it just didn't end up that way, and hockey's that type of game. Obviously, if you get a bounce or you get a goal early, script flips, and maybe we're over here and not uh, as sad about being our season over with, but uh, celebrated and looking forward to our next game, but like Casaro said, it's tough, obviously, losing in those first 10. And you look back, and that's a game. Like you said, it wasn't a 6-3 game, and I felt like that was the overall feel of the game. It was pretty back and forth and stuff like that. But unfortunately, we just didn't come out on the right side of the game tonight. Ian Zach's from Kelland News right here in Sioux Falls. Uh, this is one's for either one of you. What do you feel like was the difference in the game tonight? the the missed chances i think for us um you know like we mentioned if we we put those in it's a different game so but uh yeah uh did anything surprise you about the game at all just uh it feel like you know i mean you're like you said you're right there just with a couple of bounces a couple of things when you play a team for the first time obviously you don't know their tendencies and stuff like that so a couple of things you get surprised with here and there, but um, I I thought nothing really surprised us. That's a hats off to our coaching staff. They really prepared us really well for this game. We knew what they're going to come with uh, structurally and stuff like that, and what players were ex to expect and stuff like that. But uh, I don't think we were really surprised by anything we were comfortable with in the game and stuff like that. But obviously, it just comes down to chances and uh, burying a couple of those would have put us in a different situation of the game. But uh, I don't think we had any surprises, just typical hockey, playing a new opponent for the first time and get a little feel-out process and then kind of attack it. But I felt like we were in our game right from the start, so it was good. 
All right, with, with that, we'll let our student athletes go. Thank you, gentlemen. We appreciate you. Uh, I'll open the floor for questions for Coach. Again, raise your hand if you've got the microphone so you can affiliation and ask your question. Thank you. Coach Tritzinger with the uh, with the rink live. You know, it's a three two game, um, and then Celebrini gets the goal there at the end of the third. I mean, just just can you can you sort of talk to me about how how challenging that is? I mean, when they get that goal late, then you have to you're, you're going into the intermission. They're down two. Yeah, there, there's a couple points because when Adam asked his question there, that I was just trying to think, and I, I'm not quite sure the sequence there. So I thought we had two real good chances in the first, and we don't score on either one of them. And then in the, in the second, and I don't know if uh, Gonzalez's breakaway was before or after Casero's goal, but I think that sequence, I think it closed to 3 2. If he scores, whether that was before or after, uh, that could have made it 3 all. I thought that was another pivotal point, you know, where, you know, your, your bench comes to life and you've got some jump uh, in yourself and, and, and things like that. So I thought those two, and then uh, we, do, we don't do that, and then he scores that goal. Uh, at the end, and, and that was that was the dagger. You know, really, it, it, we knew it was an uphill fight from there. We were, we were just kind of debating, do you pull him with eight minutes left or five minutes? We, we stuck with five, uh, but trying to get three goals at that particular junction, you know, with five minutes left, it's obviously going to be difficult. But I, I thought those other, like I said, the two missed opportunities in the first and then the one in the – really when, when JoJo came out of the, the box and scores that goal uh, – that, that would have been either his goal would have been the three all goal if um, Elijah would have scored or Elijah would have. And I, I can't remember what came first. She killed me. No, this is going. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, you've touched on it already, but Gonsalves had the, you know, the BU player with a blind backhander into the slot. Your best goal score is standing right there. So you had all your chances. I mean, you got to at least, I know it's hard, but feel proud about, you're right there. I mean, you could this could easily yeah, have gone the other way. It, very, very proud for sure, you know, because um, you know, I, I think, yeah, it just uh, when you look at it in context of the whole year and all that, but I just, uh, you know, I, I don't think we'd still put our best foot forward, and, and that's not, um, you know, I just, uh, you know, we needed to have a couple more saves as well. I, you know, that's... Uh, Question that you're asking, but but that you know it's a combination of that you know of the two they could have swung either way with a couple of big saves or or a couple of big goals there, but uh, yeah, there's um, you know there's just not much difference, uh, but there is a difference uh, uh, when you say that, so it's uh, it's difficult. No, I I didn't I never really felt like okay we're we're hemmed in we can't get out and we we don't have an answer for anything. Um, you know, I, but as, as our Carter also mentioned too, when you haven't played someone, there's a feel to how physical is the game going to be? How fast is it going to be versus what you're watching on tape? There's, there are some subtle differences and, um, and when you don't play each other or haven't played each other, there's not you no know, like, uh, animosity between the teams or anything like that. Uh, I think there's respect both ways, but, uh, but yeah, that tip my hat to that be you and, uh, They've had a tremendous season, and, and uh, that's why they're the number two seed. Ian Sachs from Kelland News right here in Sioux Falls. Uh, what makes playing them so difficult? Um, well, I think they're uh, – I thought they're bigger, stronger uh, in that. And uh, I, I think the biggest thing that I took from it is that they've probably had to play in some bigger moments. So whether that be a – a bean pot or, or something like that. I mean, they played in the uh, the tournament last year. That was our first tournament, so our guys weren't quite sure what to expect from BU. I mean, they were second rank, but again, you showed them the film. They, I think, they knew what to expect X's and O's wise, but the other intangibles that don't come out on a video is what they kind of had to try and figure out as as you're going along. I think uh, the more times you play in this game or or play. A team of BU's caliber, then the more comfortable you get, uh, more comfortable of being uncomfortable, I guess, if, if, that, if that's such a thing. So, you know, that chalk it up to a little bit of inexperience and uh, and that. But uh, like I said, there are always going to be pivotal points in the game that's going to sway the game one way or another, and, and they get what they needed, uh, whether that's through experience or or our inexperience. I thought that was the difference in the game.
Last question down here for Trent. Coach, Trent Singer with the Rink Live. Can you sort of talk to me but just about the, you know, just the accomplishments from this team. I mean, uh, you know, 27 wins is, is certainly, you know, something to hang your hat on. And um, to get back to this tournament is another another thing, too. So so what does it mean to you for this team? Uh, you know, I'm really, like I said, proud of the guys. Uh, proud of, you know, setting out a goal. I mean, every coach tries to do that at the beginning of the year. We had a pretty lofty goal. like, And, and that's what I told the guys at, at RIT. Our goals are always, I mean, there's there isn't a year that, uh, they're short of of coming here. Uh, besides, really the, the the COVID little period there, we were on a run. Uh, so it's my 25th year. Where every fourth year, our, our players have won a regular season or a playoff championship. I mean, that's um, for uh, 10 championships in, in 19 years of Division One, whether it be regular season or playoffs. So we have high goals, and they are always going to be attainable, but. Um, they're not because you fall short because of different reasons. So this team to set that goal after last last year uh, of to getting to this point uh, was no easy accomplishment. But they they put the work in and did it, and um, and it's really them. I mean, they 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 have to. Put, it's extremely extremely difficult. Even us winning both the regular season and playoff last year because we didn't win the playoff, we went through it. I mean, there's teams. Uh, that uh, are very accomplished, uh, without, you know. But like a Michigan hasn't won a regular season title in the Big Ten, and, and, I, and now, but we're once you win the regular season in Atlantic Hockey, if you don't win the playoff, it feels like you you fell short. So winning two championships in one year, uh, it was funny. That's how it was going, and then all of a sudden, the uh, Michigan State and um, I'm trying to think uh, the other, other team that. Uh, uh, well, they won the regular season. They got put out. They didn't win the, win the playoffs. So there's not any teams. Boston College, correct? Yeah. So BC was the other team. So the other teams are North Dakota and uh, Wisconsin and uh, Bemidji did not win two, and and that's what ourselves and Bemidji have to do it as well uh, this year. And uh, uh, Quinnipiac didn't do it. And uh, you think about, you know, I, I was in awe when I was watching one of the games there when they said they haven't. I, haven't won a playoff and someone can correct me since 2016 a, a playoff championship so you know they it, it sounds like oh we, let's do this and our guys set that as a goal and that was our mission but way way harder than probably they can even imagine and they'll, they'll look back on this later and go wow that was pretty good you know and so that that's 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 the difficulty here we don't can win that regular season as hey we'll we'll play hard and try to win the playoff, but if we don't, we've, we've already got a bid uh, and we're on our way. It's, you know, you've got to win and then win again to go there. And our league is, is, uh, has come a long, long way. And uh, it continues um, in that direction, not as fast as maybe the coaches would like, but we're, we're getting there. And uh, we're, we're just getting, we're, we're better off uh, playing our league schedule, entering this tournament now than we might've, if it was 10 years ago. And, uh, so we just want to continue in that direction and just keep moving forward. And and it's not like any other league's going to give us any help on that. <laughs> We've got to do it internally, and we know that. And uh, uh, so you know, my tip my hat to our league and what we're what we're growing into and what we continue to try and get better at.